Welcome, I am your host, and today I have two very special guests in Kat Candler, the writer slash director of Hellion, and also the star of Hellion, Josh Wiggins. How are you guys doing? Good. good. How are doing you doing? Good? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> All right. So um, Hellion uh, saw it as a emotionally charged movie. Kat, I want to know how is this different from previous projects you've worked on? Oh, wow. Um, gosh, I mean, I've, I've, I've kind of done the gamut of things. I, I write, I've written a lot of like big kid comedy movies to um, hopefully I'll do a horror film someday. Uh, but Hellion the Feature, you know, it's the biggest project to date that I've done, um, especially, you know, working with Aaron and Juliet as well, working with a bunch of badass kids, um, <laughs> some of which had never acted before in a movie, which was really cool and um, a fun process. Uh, but um, I don't know, it's, it's definitely the most special film I've made to date. Okay, so like you said, um, you've worked, you're working with an actor that's introducing, you know, Josh Wiggins. There's an interesting story on how you found Josh. Can you inform us on that story? Sure. So um, our friend Summer Shelton, who produced a film called Little Accidents, they were casting the same age range of boys, southern, 14-year-olds. And um, she was really interested in the oldest boy in our short film of Hallian, uh, Tommy. And so she started investigating Tommy online and found all of these YouTube videos that Tommy made with his best friend, Josh Wiggins. And uh, she, brought jo or she asked Josh to, um, to read for yeah. Little Accidents and tape. And then she sent us the tape that he did for Little Accidents. And then uh, one or two of the YouTube videos, I think Bad Detective was one that oh, she yeah. sent over. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, she was like, there's something really special about this kid. And watching his tape and watching the YouTube videos, I was like, yeah, let's bring him in. There is something pretty cool about him. OK, I'm going to watch Bad Detective. Don't think I didn't hear <laughs> no, that. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I know when she brought you in, she brought you in also to read with Aaron Paul, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that was the yeah. last audition yeah. that he did. Mm -hmm. So my question is, you know, with Aaron Paul, he plays your father in the movie, Hollis. Mm -hmm. I want to know, how did when I watched the movie, you guys had so much chem chemistry. How did that come about in that time frame? Yeah, it was. It was funny because, you know, this is the first thing I've, I've done, so I was incredibly nervous when we came in. And um, you know, Aaron has a way of kind of making you feel like you've known each other for years and you're best friends within like five minutes of talking. And I, don't, I just immediately felt comfortable with him, and that's the number one thing. If you're, you're acting, you have to be comfortable with your environment. And um, I mean, he's just, he's very welcoming. He was giving me all these tips and like, you know, how to handle yourself and, and stuff like that. So it was um, helpful. So, some have said that you are the next Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Seen this. How do you feel about that? I'm flattered. Um, I don't know about that, but uh, I mean, I hope so. But yeah, that was, um, that was very flattering. I don't know who wrote that, but thank yeah, you. Yeah, I've read a few articles that say that. Did you, are, are there any specific actors that you did look up to when you were coming up or look to to form who you are as an actor or helped yeah. you? I mean, Leo which is kind of funny. But um, yeah, I mean, him, Dustin Hoffman, Robert De Niro, um, Robert Downey Jr. I have a man crush on Liam Neeson. Um, nice. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many. Like, it's, it's hard to- Liam to Neeson, taking three. You in? Oh, I'm always in. I'm taking <laughs> Come on, All right. ask me a serious question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for you, Kat, anybody that you looked up to in a directorial sense that helped you form the way you shoot things? Yeah, I mean, I, throughout the years, yeah, I, at one point I was on a, ju a huge John Sayles kick when I first started uh, making movies. Ang Lee was like the ice storm, it's one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, Steven Spielberg, love. Uh, Lynn Ramsey, Jane Campion, like a ton. I mean, there's just a huge, huge list of filmmakers and storytellers and, you know, Jeff Nichols is one of my faves right now. I mean, I, I am a huge fan of all of his films, and he's a, a badass human being as well. So how has this film changed you guys' lives individually? Let's start with Josh. Yeah, start with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt his eyes, his eyes raised up like he really wanted yeah. to answer this question. <laughs> no, I mean, because movies, a big part of the movie is kind of valuing what you have and kind of um, not taking it for granted, like your family, because you, know, you don't know when something may happen. and. Um, so it's just kind of given a better appreciation for what I have and how 
lucky I am compared to Jacob and his his environment, and um, it's it's made me value what what I, what I have. Cat. You know, I've been making movies for a really long time, and um, it's what is in my blood, and it's what's in my heart, and it's what I want, always want to do. And I think like this film has legitimized me as a filmmaker in the community, um, and it's allowed, it's opened a lot of doors, and um, is bringing me a lot of opportunities for next things. But um, but it's also you find you find a group of people that you love working with, and that you're that become your family from project to project. And I feel like I found a huge family with this film. I guess the question on everyone's mind for Josh, did you do your own stunts? I, I have <laughs> to know that. I saw all the jumps and stuff. Did it's, you do your own stunts? <laughs> it's a funny story. Um, I had never ridden a dirt bike before. I've ridden, it like tw or I've ridden it like twice in my life. And so Kat signed me up for, for dirt biking lessons. And so at first, we're just going around this hill. And um, you know, it's pretty easy. I'm thinking, I've, I've got it down. Let's, let's shoot this. And um, you weren't thinking that, were you really thinking <laughs> he that? He said, I think he thought I mean, that. He was, so I was going around a hill, it wasn't the most difficult thing. But, um, you were on flat ground. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, I was eager. But, um, and then the, the instructor, um, he, you know the clutch where you hold the clutch and then you let it go, and you like zoom really fast, acceleration. And um, he told me to do that. And so um, I did, and I did it once, and it was a, a jolt, and I was like, whoa, but it was, it was fine. And so he was like, all right, let's do that again, but do it a little harder this time. So I was like, okay. And so I did it, and I did a wheelie, and I almost fall off the bike, but I throw myself back onto this, to the seat. And so I'm, by this point, I'm Superman position onto the seat, swerving, swerving, heading towards the only tree that's in the area for, for miles. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I'm, I'm teetering it back, trying to stop it, and I eventually just wobble over and fall and act like I wasn't mortified. And there's like and all of us are like chasing behind yeah. him, like a swarm of adults. It was, yeah. And the kids were there, the Dylan and Cameron and, and Dalton, and uh, that didn't help. Yeah. That definitely didn't help. So I guess all the people riding dirt bikes, their jobs are safe right now. You're not going to go after them. <laughs> yeah, they can, they can rest. They can keep that. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, it's very intense, you know, the, the moment you're just talking about almost flying off or whatever. But one of the mm -hmm. scenes that has the most intensity in my mind is uh, the bedroom scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so intense. And um, to you, Kat, just uh, the twists and turns. Like, honestly, when I was watching the movie, it's like every time I thought I knew it was going to happen, it's like, I could go right, but I'm going to go left. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. how is that? How do you formulate what you're going to do when you write something like this? Um, I think, yeah, as my, my job as a writer is to try and keep, is to keep the audience guessing, but always making choices that make sense. Um, and so with that, uh, that particular scene, yeah, it's just, it, it, it's a scene where, uh, where things can go terribly wrong in like a split second and with a split simple choice and, um, and that, yeah, it went terribly it did, wrong. It did, went, it did go there. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, for you, Josh, in that specific scene, like uh, you go through a range of like just emotions from like defending to you know being taking ownership of what's going on and what happened and being scared. So how did how did that range of emotion affect you, like acting wise? Like how did you go through that? It's I mean a lot of it's just building off what other kids are doing because you know Dalton Dalton who, who plays Lance he did that scene amazing. Mm -hmm. Beautifully, and um, so it's just kind of you know, kind of going with his his emotions, and just kind of building off other people, and just kind of knowing that this is the last thing that he needs right now. And you know, he lost the race; he's lost that chance of redemption, kind of, well, in that in that sense. But um, and he's this is kind of his last resort, and he knows that it's not the best decision, but it's the only thing he can do. And so for that to happen, for his friend to pull out a gun, for him to have to tie his aunt up, it's not, um, yeah. it's not prime. No, I, I, saw, I saw that when I walked out of the theater, I was like, if I see Dal the, guy, Lan the guy who plays Lance Dalton, if I saw him walking down the street, I would cross the street. <laughs> he played that role very yeah. well. I thought it was very well. And so like, you have these, ten these intense scenes, it's hot. It's very hot. Very hot. <laughs> and it's who set in November, yeah. no. <laughs> which didn't help. Um, black, black skinny jeans, black shirt. Yeah, in th triple digit heat in Texas. Right. So who is the who's the clown on set? Somebody had to make <laughs> make light of this situation of how hot it is. Who's the clown? That's a great question. Uh, Cameron. Yeah, that's what I was going to say too. <laughs> he plays Roger. But it's funny because um, 
Dalton knew that this was his scene, and uh, with the other boys, when they did start acting up or like getting a little crazy, he was the one who was like putting everybody in line and making sure that like everybody took it seriously because it was a huge scene. It took a lot of time. It was super hot. It was very. It was the most challenging scene I've yes. probably ever shot. But um, but he yeah he like shined he in that scene. Super proud. Never acted before. As well. Yeah. You got two budding stars on your hands, <laughs> man. All right, so we're going to play a quick game, run low on time, play a quick game, okay? Oh, yeah. This is called One Word. I'm going to say something to you. Okay. And you only get one word to describe this thing, okay? okay? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So, Kat, we're going to start with you. Okay. Your directing style. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that was nice. That's a good answer. All right, you're acting. Good, I hope. Good. Can I add okay. two words? <laughs> nice and good. Okay, I'll give you one more word. <laughs> Hopefully good. Hopefully good, okay. Okay. Cat, Josh Wiggins. Mm, greatness. Greatness. Cat Candler. Cool, I guess. Just cool. kidding. <laughs> no, amazing. Amazing. Aaron Paul. Phenomenal. Uh, uh, solid human being. That's three, but fine. Aaron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I said two, so. Aaron Paul, um, I'm trying to think of a really good word. Ugh. Exuberant. Exuberant. Mm. Florida State sense. University. Oh, oh, uh, oh, um, V89. Gotcha. I'll let people interpret <laughs> V89? That. Yeah, it's the radio station I worked at. Oh. Yes, you. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Hellion. Um, mm, special. And hell yeah. <laughs> um, exceptional. That means different, right? Different from. It means whatever. This is yeah, your world. We're just living. It means whatever you want it to be. Different mean. and amazing, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys. I've enjoyed it, Kat. Yeah. Josh. Thanks All so right. much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Eric Bryan, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you next time.